FTE buffer is a commonly used buffer solution in molecular biology, especially in procedures involving DNA, cDNA or RNA. TE is derived from its components, TRIS, a common pH buffer, and EDTA, a molecule that chelates cations like Mg2+. The purpose of TE buffer is to solubilize DNA or RNA, while protecting it from degradation. Recipe a typical recipe for making 1x TE buffer is 10 mm Tris, bring to penthouse 800 with HCl, 1 mm EDTA. TE buffer is also called as T10E1 buffer, and read as T10E1 buffer. To make a 100 ml solution of T10E1 buffer, 1 ml of 1m Tris HCl and 0.2 ml EDTA and made up with double distilled water up to 100 ml. Based on nuclear studies from the 1980s, the pH is usually adjusted to 7.5 for RNA and 8.0 for DNA. The respective DNA and RNA nucleases are supposed to be less active at these pH values, but Penthouse 800 can safely be used for storage of both DNA and RNA. EDTA further inactivates DNAs, by binding to metal cations required by this enzyme. Genomic and plasmid DNA can be stored in TE buffer at 4 degrees Celsius for short-term use, or minus 20 degrees Celsius to minus 80 degrees Celsius for long-term storage. Repeated freeze-thaw cycles should be avoided. See also, LB buffer, lithium borate buffer, a similar buffer containing lithium ions in place of TRIS, TA buffer and TBE buffer are often used in procedures involving nucleic acids, the most common being electrophoresis. References Penthouse 700TE buffer equals 100 mm per litre Tris, Penthouse 700 plus 10 mm per litre EDTA, Penthouse 800 from Molecular Cloning, a laboratory manual, Yagi. Horio, Shimagaki, Tokuda, Maeda. The role of NACE and EDTA on DNA degradation in formaldehyde fixed tissues. Biotechnic and Histochemistry 71, 123 Euro 129. PMID 8724437. Ross. Hoyts, Kelly. Repeated freezing and thawing of peripheral blood in DNA in suspension, effects on DNA yield and integrity. Journal of Medical Genetics 27, 569 Euro 570 doi. 10.1136/JMG27.9.569 External links Open wetware TE buffer Retrieved July 2, 2006